Hello everyone, my name is Kylie and I'm a student success coach at the Student Success Center here at Bristol. Today I'm going to show you how to write a formal email. Most likely you'll have to write several emails in your education and into your career. Formal emails are written to professors, colleagues, your boss, basically anyone but family and friends. So it's a very important professional skill to learn. It should have accurate grammar, punctuation, and spelling. You can use a tool called Grammarly to help with that. So today I'm gonna to reach out to my professor. For step one, it's gonna include a greeting similar to a letter. Some examples include dear, hello, good morning, good afternoon, with their name at the end of the greeting along with a comma. So as you can see, I put dear Professor Johnson, comma, and I hit enter to include a space, which is gonna lead into step two. So step two is body paragraphs, but it has three parts to it. Um, so the first part is including an opening sentence. Um, so for example, I put, I hope all is well with you. And then it's gonna lead to the second part, which is the main reason why you're emailing them. Um, so as you can see, this is all of my main point. So I am emailing my professor to ask for an appointment to discuss my grade in English 101 and to develop a plan for improving for the remainder of the semester. Um, and then once you're done with your main point, you're gonna wanna do a closing sentence. So my closing sentence is right here and it says, thank you for your time and I look forward to hearing back from you. So then the last part of the email is the closing. So similar to a letter also, um, you can include examples like thank you, best regards, sincerely, and then followed by a comma, enter your full name. So for example, I have best regards, comma, I hit enter, and then John Smith. So you may think that we're all done with all our steps. However, we still have the subject line to do. A subject line is a short sum up of the email in a few words. This is the first thing that they'll see in their inbox, so it's super important to include one. When emailing your professors, you should include the course name and number along with the main point. So for example, I put English 101, online, schedule an appointment. So that is how you write a formal email. I hope you found this helpful. Take care, bye.